What's going on guys? Carson back here getting ready to watch another Harry Potter movie for the first time. And this time I believe it's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, I think. Something like has to do with the, the Phoenix, basically. So, uh, full disclosure, I guess, before I go into my predictions here. I gotta talk about some spoilers that came my way, and that's because I got a chance to go to universal studios in orlando and explore the wizarding world of harry potter which if you're watching this i'm guessing you're a pretty big harry potter fan uh definitely get down to universal studios check out the wizarding world of harry potter as soon as you can because it's a pretty amazing experience uh but due to that i had that experience i encountered a few spoilers while i was going through this land of harry potter or lands because it's in two different parks so basically i uncovered three things there's a character named bellatrix who works with voldemort so i'm guessing we're gonna get her somewhere down the line maybe this movie uh, i'm guessing she's gotta come in pretty quickly because she it seems like her character is a pretty big deal um there's another weasley brother i haven't been introduced to yet in these films so i'm guessing we're gonna get to know him maybe if not this one the next one or maybe he's in the final run i'm not sure and then there's a big dragon that just is a good guy dragon and he helps Harry Potter and his friends because there's actually a ride where you get to see Harry and the trio. They're on the dragon. They protect you from Voldemort. Um, and yeah, so those are three pretty big spoilers that came my way, uh, in my opinion, while I was down there uh, exploring the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So I guess my predictions for the Order of the Phoenix... Um, Obviously, it's going to have something to do with Dumbledore since he, as a phoenix, we found out, the second Harry Potter movie. Um, so, what this order consists of, I don't know if these are other people with more phoenixes or if they're trying to use the phoenix to bring back somebody else to fight Voldemort. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, like I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen uh, with Voldemort's phoenix. I'm sorry, uh, Dumbledore's phoenix, of course. If anything at all, maybe it's just a random name that they gave to the book i'm not sure uh and i just kind of hope i see some more character building from some characters that I've, I've looked forward to but they haven't really done a lot i know snape he's gonna have to come in big at some point will this finally be the movie where we get his backstory you have to wait even longer for that um i just hope we don't see no no more dobby no more harry potter and his goofy family that he had to live with i like how the last movie uh, we didn't even see them whatsoever. So hopefully if they do come back, it's just for like 30 seconds. So Voldemort can zap them or something. So yeah, that's my, my quick expectation for this movie. But uh, I'm going to run and go see that movie. So for you guys, I'll be back in a second. For me, it'll be like two hours plus. So be right back. All right, I'm back. I just got done watching Order of the Phoenix. And this is definitely up there with one of the best ones so far for sure i really enjoyed this movie from start to finish well maybe not the exact start but at least the start of the movie had at least a point going forward so you had to see his family again he, those parents oh my god were they like i don't know what it, his dad starts to look more annoying in every movie somehow but at least the whole scene with him and his cousin uh, getting attacked early on had a point going forward so I definitely didn't have a problem with that but another thing I definitely didn't have a problem with was finally getting to know what the order of the phoenix was which is pretty much like all of the good guys you've been introduced to up until this point plus some you haven't is pretty much just this big like almost hidden illuminati that counters another hidden Illuminati that most people don't want to believe exists yet. You know, Voldemort's baddies versus Dumbledore's good guy army. So pretty much two armies are being amassed in secret and Harry and his friends are trapped in the middle of it, basically. So right, like my favorite thing about this was seeing Harry have to gather like his friends and convince... Well, he really wasn't the one doing the convincing it was his 
you know, two other main friends who had to do the convincing to Harry to get the army together, basically, because this this awful villain Umbridge, Professor Umbridge, she was just the absolute worst. So she's definitely going to get my least valuable player of this movie because, oh, she just was a thorn in everybody's side. You know, when you have a great villain, sometimes that's like cool factor to him where you kind of want to like the character but you know you're supposed to not like him umbridge you just wanted to hate like it's just the worst so good job being a villain so i you know there's not too many least valuable players to give here so i think i'm about to go umbridge on this one she just every time she was on screen she even made you not like cats meowing somehow she had this like wall of cats it was just weird at first, it's like, oh, it's cute. A lot of cats on screen. And it's like, oh, God. Like, why? Why is this happening? So, she gets my least valuable player award or whatever you want to call it for this one. But my, my MVP, it's got to be like a multi-way tie for Dumbledore's army. I really enjoyed seeing, finally, the other students besides Harry getting a little bit of screen time and actually wanting to do something you know, in the realm of magic, instead of just, like, have Harry get thrown into all the situations, now you got all these other students, like this new one, Luna, who is a very strange character. Uh, but you real like, she really grows on the audience, I think. I think they did a great job introducing her. And Neville gets a lot of great screen time here. And the whole Weasley family basically gets a bunch of screen time. And looks good in this one, of course. So I really enjoyed seeing... All of these characters finally start to, to do something, so they're going to prove themselves more valuable down the line, I'm, I'm sure. But now I thought it was really cool we got Bellatrix finally in this one. I was at least right about that. So um, She's the one who got the deal, the, the death blow, apparently, to old cousin. So we've, we, Harry experienced his first loss here. and I figured something like that was going to have to happen. He was, he was getting an awful lot of screen time, Gary Oldman was in this one. I'm like... Well, he's either going to be taken out soon completely or he's just going to get killed altogether. Maybe we'll see him back somehow, but I, I thought he was being a little... He's getting a lot of good times with Harry. And usually the way storytelling goes, if you're getting that much good screen time and bad things are bound to happen, he was probably going to be the first one to go. So uh, as much as I really like Sirius Black, I figured he was going to be the one that the bite the dust in this one unfortunately and the fight scene at the end was amazing so kind of like how in star wars episode three you got yoda versus the emperor unexpectedly you get voldemort versus dumbledore in their showdown so i really enjoyed how we got that at the end that was a lot of fun just that whole like last like they have a really good last 50 minute sequence in almost every one of these movies and i really did enjoy the last 15 minutes of this one for sure maybe the best last 15 minutes of the movie so far like because you get all of your players rolled into one doing great or dastardly things so i really enjoyed the end of this movie for sure but i think i'm going to score this one nine out of ten i'm going to tie it with the third one I, I really enjoyed this movie like i said it didn't really have any dead spots in it the only thing i really wanted to see was more of the order of the phoenix which i'm sure the rest of the movies going forward we're going to get to see more of those characters but when you name the the movie order of the phoenix you kind of expect more of the order of the phoenix especially since you know my boy snape was in there too and you get to see him do good guy things until you know harry gets into his past a little bit which i wanted to see more of that which i'm glad we got to see any of that so Hopefully, the Order of the Phoenix, that's not the last we see or hear of them. I'm sure they'll be back immediately in the next one. But, yeah, I think we're going to go 9 out of 10 on this one. I really enjoyed this one. I halfway thought about recording the next one right off. But I'm going to keep waiting weekly to do these things, pace myself, and really enjoy these movies one by one instead of just binge-watching all of them. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of me watching harry potter for the first time don't forget to like subscribe all that stuff until next time take care